Hello! What's up, everyone? This is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. As you guys know, I loved the first game, so we're going to jump right into this. I'm super excited for this game. Uh, we'll take the number one empty slot. We'll go with normal modes. The first one didn't actually have difficulty modes. Uh, I can imagine hard is, like, absolutely bonkers, so... We'll take on a little bit of challenge. But also try and enjoy the story here. Okay, I'm getting ready to take my camera off. So we're looking at the spirit tree. That's the spirit tree in the background. Oh, this is me. I'm controlling the character already. Oh, yes. Dude, look at those animations. Okay, I can't remember how to play this game. Last time I played it was four years ago. So I think Naru's calling for me. Oh, it's Gamu! I think he's called Gamu. It begins with a G. So this is the spidery guy who was kind of like a thief at the start of the first one, but he changed his ways. God, I'm already getting goosebumps, man. How does this how does this game series do it to me? Oh, you can go you can sit on this. The animations are just so smooth, man. Okay, so Naru on the left, Gamu on the right, Baby Bird in the hands. Baby Bird's gonna be my... Oh, she's called Ku. Oh my god, I've literally got goosebumps, guys. Dude, the game's making me fucking cry already. How does this fucking series do this to me, man? Nothing's even happened, man. <laughs> I don't know why Ari hits me so fucking hard. Okay. Let's go, uh... Wait, wait, what, Gamu, what are you doing with Q? I don't trust him. He was a thief in the first one. Hey, what's up, Dane? Don't tell me Gamu's stealing my baby bird. Can I go up there? I don't think I can. Oh. No, I think there's just background textures right there. Oh. Okay, he didn't steal the baby bird. <laughs> He wouldn't steal the baby bird. He's a good guy now. It's Q's first flight. Go on. You can do it. Mmm, <laughs> peaches. I think they're peaches. Maybe they're apples. They're not apples. Gamu. Oh, grubs! Yay! Uh. <laughs> Middle ground and nectarines. Alright, we'll take it. Ooh, dude, icy world. That's what I like to see. That's scary. What if the ice cracks? Never seen those birds before. They don't look evil, though. Oh no, she leaves home. She's a little bit bigger now, I think.
Oh no. Okay, let's go make you feel better. I feel like who's missing a mama because she doesn't have like a proper mama. She wants a bird mama. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Let's give Q a hug. You'll fly one day, Q. You can do it. Wait, I don't want to leave Q. She's like sleeping on the edge. What if she falls in? Guess we're going. Got no choice. Game's making me do it, chat. Wait, where am I right now? I'm getting a little bit scared. Oh. What do we got? What do we got? Ah, Kuro's feather. That's what the big, big fucking bird was called, chat. Not actually called big fucking bird. She was called Kuro. You gain the new ability one. Urborn hold RT to grind freely. Woo! That's cute. So wait, is Ku never going to fly then? There you go. Take this. <laughs> Demonetize for swears. Yeah, we'll have to see how the demonetization goes on YouTube. I think with Ari, they, they take all the money anyway because of the music. So we'll see. Keep an eye on that. <laughs> oh. Oh, one wing was messed up. I think you got like maybe got burnt in the fire. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I think it got like burnt in the fire on the first one and we were meant to remember that. Woo! Oh, this is awesome, dude. Because we're going to be able to like fly around the game. Oh. Ah! Oh! We out of here, man. We out of here. I'm controlling some of this. This is uh, cinematic now. It's kind of seamless. Jesus, be careful with that wing. It's only strapped on. God. Oh. oh, there's the element of fire. So like I said, in the first one, we had to collect three elements, fire, winds, and earth.
I can be a big bud too. Hello, boys. Oh God, what bad thing is gonna happen? Another storm? Something bad has to happen at some point, otherwise there's no game. We can't have a game where everything's love and rainbows. Oh God, I'm gonna get zapped. No, Koo! The wing! Oh, I got it. Oh, no. I lost it. Oh. Okay, so we gotta go rescue uh, Q and find the feather, I guess. Oh, it's wet. Jesus. Who's that? He looks scary, man. Get away from me, you disgusting hyena panther thing. Okay, maybe they're good guys. I don't know. But they look kind of scary. Aww. Inkwater Marsh. Okay, let's begin. Okay, again, I can't remember anything in this game, so... We're really gonna have to figure it out as we go along. Obviously, I want that giant yellow ball. I don't really remember what they do, but I assume they're like skill points or something. Okay, how do I attack? I don't think I can attack yet. We'll just jump past him. Can I swim? I'm going to assume I can't swim, because it doesn't look like I can swim. Life orb. You found a life orb. Collect these to restore Ori's life. Okay, so that's just a health up. We're already going to the Luma pools over here. Okay, green orb. Is this a skill orb? Oh, it's blocked. RT to grab and move objects. Got it. We're going in. What's this? Life cell fragment. You found a life cell fragment. Collect one or more to increase your maximum life. Okay, so we need two of those to get anywhere. It doesn't show up at all yet. Okay. Whoa! I don't think I can get across there. We're going to go the other way. I mean, technically, we should be able to make it over those. I would imagine. Wait, there's a little pathway here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. I'm dead. I already killed Ari. It's okay. We're going up here. Maybe we should get a death counter. I don't know. Anything hiding up here? Doesn't look like it. I'm tempted to jump on this guy's head and see if I can hurt him. Nope. It's not Super Mario, dude. Let's go over here. Doesn't... Oh, the game probably does track it for you. Yes. Oh, look at that. That's water. So I can swim under that and grab the orb. Probably from the left. You know what? They probably expect most people to go to the right first, right? Like, that's more of a natural thing to do. Small spirit light container. Spirit light can be traded to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. All right, various friendly creatures. Where you at? I need some upgrades. Ah! This is horrible, man. Everything's breaking. I can't attack anything. I need some power. 
This looks like it's gonna snap as well. Uh, hold. Ah. Through the platform we go. Should I go down there? Sure, why not? I don't know, do we wanna go down the scary cave? I'm gonna go to the right. Ah, someone lived here. He's got these like little scrolls and candles. But he's not here anymore. Can we read the sign? No. I always think to go left too, because the <laughs> I didn't think about it, honestly, so I, I naturally went left for some reason. Press X to grab the torch. Ooh, yes. More lighting effects. That's what I like to see. Okay, so it looks like in this, you actually carry items around, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, X, Y, and B. Oh, I can attack with it. Oh, yes. Okay, Spirali... Yeah, 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 we know that. I didn't realize it was going to be a weapon. That it was just for seeing things. Okay, what other combos do we have here? It's a very simple attack. I want a sword right now. Oh, it burns them as well, like, over time. Oh, a torch can take these down. There was another one of those earlier on as well that we could have taken down. Don't know about getting in here. Actually, it looks like a switch that pulls it up. I don't know how many of these are, like, locked for the entirety of the game or... We should be looking to get in right now. Yeah, the lighting is incredible, especially with the torch. Oh, there's the guy. That's probably the guy who, like, lived in the cave. Hello! Oh, it is literally Big Birds! Hello! Talk! I'm not a monkey. Come from across the water. Two keystones. All right, find the keystone. So we're going to travel with Mr. Talk here once we get our keystone. We can go together. It's our first mission. Uh, can I bring up the map? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Shows you where you're meant to go as well. To the left. See, whenever I play Ori, man... Oh, I found an energy orb. Collect these to restore Ori's energy. Which I don't have any, any, any energy abilities yet, so... It's actually not getting used so far. Oh, God! This is not how it was meant to go. Can I not stand on that? Okay, never mind, this wasn't close enough. Blasted. Whenever I play these games, I'm kind of just, like, blown away by how beautiful they are. Uh, I don't think I can get up there because of the spikes. It's like I can just drop down there. As far as I know, there's no fall damage in this game. Ooh. Oh, God, I knew those things were creepy. Yo, wait a second. Oh, Jesus. Do I fight him? Or do I run away from him? I'm gonna run. I feel like... Oh, no, we ain't running. Oh, we can damage him. We can damage him. He's burning right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Can I not leave? There's a secret room there. Maybe I try and go in there. I don't know if grabbing that's gonna help me. But we're gonna grab it anyway. 
doesn't help me. Okay. Ah! Damn you. So you gotta jump him and then attack him. That's how it works. There we go. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Okay, he burned to death. Nice. Yeah, it was just testing my mechanical skill, and then on my first fight, my mechanical skill was trash. My torch! No! Jump onto the blue moss to cling to it. I do like a blue area. Big fan. Oh, this is cute. Wait, do I want to go that way or this way? Oh, look at that little gemstone up there, guys. We've got no torch now, but... I don't think I can make that jump. No blue torch for me, unless... No, that doesn't work. Okay, remember about the big blue gemstone. Yeah, we don't have any kind of double jump yet. We're just basic Ari. I don't know if there's been any explanation for, like, lo losing my skills from the first one. Ooh. Been all kinds of things. Is that the keystone? That might well be the keystone. Okay, I can just climb this wall. Oh, no, I can't. This is some kind of jump practice. I'm completely failing, failing at it. How high can I go? Oh, okay. That makes it easier. Got the keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Different spirit gates may require a different number of keystones. We need two. One of which we already have from Jimmy McGee. Talk. Now, I want more power, so I'm kind of... Like, thinking... If it's possible in any way to get this and I, I don't think it is like I said I think I do need double jump it's just a bit too far and I don't have any abilities or anything all I can do is climb up walls and stuff doesn't look possible to me so we'll just leave that for now but it looks tasty I feel like that's a new skill or something and I kind of want it Goodbye, little slime. Okay, I gotta make that entire jump. We did it. Let's go see Talk. Without my torch. Ah, God, I didn't even see them. Hi, Talk. Oh, you're Don Anush. Yes. Oh, Mira. <sighs> cabbages at the bottom of the screen. I hate cabbages. Uh, my wonders through new ones last wonders before we lose any more. Yay! The missing key. Quest completed. We've done it. We can now go through the wall. Anjan Cafe. Raided! Thank you for the raid. Hello. Welcome. Oh, God. That is not something I wanted to see. If you, if you weren't paying careful attention there, you just missed the scary beast in the background. It looked like some kind of dog with ten eyes. With a long tail like a lion. I feel like everyone missed the scary beast. 
Okay, let me try and explain. It was a giant dog, long tail like a lion. It had like a little bit of fluff on the ends. It had like 10 red eyes. Um, It was in the darkness, so it, it looked kind of dark, like a dark blue. It looked kind of jacked. You know, like it was just a dog, but the jack kind of dog, you know, like a Rottweiler, but doesn't look like a Rottweiler. I reckon there's a secret down there. <laughs> That's no secret. It's just spikes. What a tease. <laughs> That's bullshit, man. I'm not happy with that. Oh. Oh, that's the giant beast! It's got a crocodile mouth as well. That ain't no fucking dog. I'm not fighting on him at abilities, man! Run! Oh, God! Help! Naru! Anyone? Ku? What's your name? Talk! Oh! I'm supposed to fight this guy with a fucking torch? I don't know about this. This doesn't it doesn't seem fair. Jesus. I've been eaten. Okay. You were scared of that little dude. Little dude, are you want crack? He's freaking gigantic, dude. Okay. So, th oh, there's some kind of weakness phase. I think I, I, I can't be hurt. Oh, I can be hurt in the corner. I can be hurt in the corner. Not really sure how the Jesus. I feel very cornered. Like I don't have anything I can do. Not sure how to find his weak point here. So I just gotta hit him at the right times, obviously. There's nowhere to move really. There doesn't seem much to dodge. He's killable. Like, he's definitely killable. That hurts. Okay. You gotta fight him in the middle. You gotta fight him in the middle. That's right, doggo. Get out of here. That was scary, man. My torch! I'm not going back that way. I am not going back that way. I think I have to go back that way. Oh my god. That was actually scary. I didn't think I was going to win that fight. Okay, it's making me go back. Wait a second. I, I don't want to go back. Are you telling me there's no way to go right? Please let me go right. I don't want to go back to the dog. There's no way to go right. Okay, they're gonna make me go back. So jumping was the key there. You jump on his nose, smack him with the torch a little bit. Is that the torch? No. And then uh, he gets a little bit riled up. Okay, bones, skulls, death. All over the place, everywhere. This is definitely Mr. Hyena Dog Rottweiler Lion Cave. Oh, he's called Howl. Okay. He's got a name. I guess we're dropping down here. Oh, great. Walking on a giant spine. That's not even his spine. He's killed some big beasts. He's taken down dinosaurs. 
And I'm just like a little cat. Can't get up there. That means we unlock double double jump here, though. Can I go under that? Nope. Yo, hold on. I need some coffee after all of that, chat. There's a little cat up there. So I don't know if these are bad guys or good guys. What do you think, chat? The little hyena. Well, he's not. A, he's like a big cat, small cat with big ears. Do you think he's friendly or is he gonna beat me up? He might be friendly, actually. Seems kind of neutral. <sighs> Birch face, thank you so much for the 19 months, man. <sighs> okay. Chugging that coffee. Yeah, I need it. Okay, let's grab this little life uh, sphere. We're low on life right now, and that does carry on. If you don't keep your life up in this game, it's going to come back to haunt you at some point. That's a nice tree. Oh, oh, this is my first power. I can feel it. Oh, yes, I can feel the power. Touch it! Touch the power! Touch it! Yes! Wings? Oh, am I okay? Too much power. Oh, I said Gamo. <laughs> Gamo, he's called Gumo. <laughs> okay, so they're looking for the birds and me. Yes, they would have followed the birds. Big brain, Gumo. Oh, no. Friends? Friends? I think friends. Spirit Edge. You've gained the new ability Hold LT to assign it to X, Y, or B and unleash combo attacks. I think I've got a sword, guys. Use the light. We want to say, all right, I'll get it out. Uh, we'll put it on X. <gasps> this is my dream. One of my favorite games, but now it's got a sword. It couldn't get any better than this, chat. Oh, I can slice straight through these things. Yes! Okay, so question is, uh... Shall I go back? And open all of those doors? Ah, oh, Redden's Raids! With the 1500! Sorry to interrupt you some bits to say I'm happy you... You're happy and enjoy the game. Thank you so much, Redden's. Yeah, I'm loving this game so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Also, the first true venture into uh, variety streaming, by the way. So this is kind of a sign of things to come. Oh, I need to pick this up, but it's in the spikes, and I really don't want to damage myself. Thank you so much for all the bits, Reddins. That's an amazing amount of bits. Thank you. Oh, you're nothing now! Okay, so, uh, on the left there, oh, it shows you where the pickups you missed. I don't think the first one did that. So, uh, yeah, we can go back for those. 
Again, for the purple one, we do need the double jump. So as soon as we got double jump, we go for the purple thing. We'll have a look over there on the left as well. I think there's some, some something hiding over there. I see a stream in other games. It's a nice feeling. Honestly, couldn't have picked a better game to start with. Okay, hold on, because I think there's something over here. Now, I could be wrong, of course, but... Yes. What are these things? Magnet! You've gained a new spirit shard. Orbs flow to Ori from further away. Press Scooby-Doo to equip. Oh, three spirit shards. So these are like perks. That's cool. So that big purple one must also be a perk. Which means I can also go grab that thing that dropped down there. Oh no, it's disappeared now. The little orb in the spikes that I wanted to get. Uh, but I think that's it for this area. Wait, how do I get to the map? There we go. Yeah, that's about it. Um, make sure to grab these on the way out. I'm not sure what they are, but... Um... Okay, wait a second. How do I get up there? Can I climb the tree? Okay, I seem to be stuck. Might be able to get some extra height with that swing right there on the upward swing. When I swing up, it seems to give me like, and I could be wrong, but it seems to give me a little bit extra height. Oh no, I have to go out the top left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was before. So I'd like to double jump. Mm. No, it gives you, if you do it off the ground, so I, yeah, I'm wrong. If you attack upwards off the ground, it, it throws you up. Oh, cool. But it just acts as like a normal jump, so it's not a double jump. Okay, we out of here. Music in this game is amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm excited for some of the big sequences with the big soundtracks. Uh, we Moki thought all spirits had gone from Niwen. You seek someone. We know a finder. The Great One, Great and Mossy. Go to the Guardian of the Marsh. Quolock will help you find your way. Okay, we're going all the way over there, are we? Talk to Quolock, the Guardian of the Marsh. The Mohi think he can help you find Q. Thanks, boys. Oh, yes, Magna Orbs. That's what we like. This sword is crit. Whoa. The sword's crazy. We got new monsters already out here. Can I slice this? I want to go down. There's something down there. I feel like there's a way. I feel like there's a way. Okay, that's keystones. Let's have a look at the map again. Oh, look at that sneaky thing. This is a secret. And maybe you can't access it yet, but... No, you can't just go down. It's too thick. Maybe right here is a little bit weaker. Mm, doesn't seem to be a way that I can see. It's definitely through the spines. I think I need like a pound attack. You do get like in the in the first one, I think there was some kind of pound attack where you like ground slam and and completely break it. Oh, those life orbs regenerate. There's also something else hidden in the dark down here. But, again, not seeing any way to get to that either. Oh. 
Oh, hello. Hello. We found something. There we go. Okay, so we can spend that on abilities later on. We can also go deeper if we want to. I mean, sure, why not? I'm trying to be a little bit more of an explorer. Um, oh, God. Lasers? Maybe we're exploring too hard. <laughs> that needs double jump, yeah. This also needs ground pound. Okay, so we've gone a little bit too far. Game doesn't want me here yet. Oh, that's a keystone, though. Yeah, we come back here later on. You get the keystone later. We we're trying to go too far. I'm trying to be a little bit more of an explorer. If you guys have watched my playthroughs in the past, I've been very, very bad at exploring. Oh, look at this. A waypoint. The light from the wells runs all through Niwen. It joins, it heals. Game saved. Throwback, yeah, throwback to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but my goal, I I'm gonna try and explore a little bit more. I feel like it'll do me good. I feel like I'll enjoy the games more if I do explore more. We'll have a quick look over here. Again, I don't think I'm meant to be here yet. I don't think it's possible. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Quo Walk. Oh God, can we even get out anymore? We might have gotten ourselves stuck down here. Oh, this is a problem. Can I snap the vines? Oh, there we go. We got the moves. Just need a little bounce off the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No! Okay, what is this thing? He hurts. I don't know if I'm like... Oh, God, he spawned into something else. Oh, God. Oh, the downward bounce is great. You hit him, and then you, like, bounce up. Okay, so I've got no idea if I'm, like, going way too far for this point in the game. Like, if I was a good boy right now, I'd be going to go see Papa Quo Walk or whatever his name is. But instead, I found another tree. <laughs> Let's absorb the light. Double jump, please. Yes! Got another perk. Sticky. You've gained new spirit shard. Ori sticks to walls. Oh my god. Exploring is great, guys. Why have I never done this before? Okay, I gotta stick to those walls to get out, I think. Oh, you can't stick to the roof. All right, jump this way. Yeah. I guess we're going further down. Double jump makes my sword even better as well, because I can just keep hitting them with that from the top. It's really nice. Yeah, now I can do whatever I want to do. There's so many places I can explore now. I can go back to that other perk on the uh, the left side of the map. Bounce on that. It also means we can... Uh, I think we can... Uh... Oh, you see that little thing over there? I need that. It's hidden. In here. How do I get in? Got him. 
So maybe this is like a super casual mindset, but I actually like when it shows you where secrets are and you've got to try and figure out how to get to that secret rather than just like a secret being like fully hidden. You know? Oh, wait a second. This is a thing that you can pull. Oh, it doesn't snap it? I was hoping that would, like, snap the vines. But it doesn't. Strange. Okay, we'll come back to that later. No problem. Um, let's have a look down here real quick again. Now we got double jump. We can actually press this and we could go for the keystone. Okay. Wait, that was the... Okay, that was the thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you send the rock down there. Okay. Uh, the, the funny thing is, and I guess it doesn't matter, so I'll stop bringing it up after this, but I don't know if I'm meant to be doing any of this right now. I think this is, like, later game stuff, which isn't a problem because, like... We gotta do it at some point. And it's gonna make my journey a little bit easier along the way as well. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Okay, so this rock, we use it to block the laser, obviously. Uh, the health bar is at the bottom, so the green one is the health bar. The blue one is energy, which I haven't used yet, but it's gonna be used for abilities later on. Okay, we push this, block the laser. Simple mechanics here. Oh, I nearly got myself roasted on that thing, man. Okay, that gives me one keystone. Just gonna check my map real quick, make sure there's no secrets down here. Okay, yes. And we can just climb walls now, so I'm like a little spider. I can't see myself ever really wanting to take that perk off, to be honest. Like, it's so good. Fennegif's sub goes up again. Yeah, I see. If Fennegif's a sub, I've got to be super careful with that one. Um, otherwise, I just end up spending all of my money on my own stream. I'm not actually making a living from what I do. So, it's an amazing reward, and I don't want to take it away. So, I just increase the price until it's requested a little bit less. Ow. That hurts, man. I'm out of here. I can't be bothered killing you. I'm rich anyway. I feel like I've got more than enough stuff. We're going to start moving up to... Well, there's two options here. And I'm going to let you choose, chat. There's two things we can do. We can either go to Papa Quo Walk over here... Or we can go get the juicy purple shard on the left and also grab this as well. I'm not sure what that is. So left or right? Simply. That hurt a lot. Whoops. Left, juicy, left, left, left. <laughs> We've got a bunch of explorers in the chat. Oh, that's the keystone. Okay. Oh, this changes things. I didn't expect to get the keystone. I guess we're going through the keystone door, guys. Um, this still goes to the left, so maybe we'll end up wherever we were anyway. I assume I can't to touch the purple slime. The purple slime looks kind of dangerous. Right? We'll see where this goes, and then we'll head to the juicer. Oof. Oh, God. I'm kind of low HP. Is it breakable? <laughs> 
Just because it's a bit more expensive doesn't mean you have to throw away all your points, guys. That's not how money works. Oh, that's just a little passageway. Okay, that can't be it. There's got to be something else. There's something else. You can go through this wall somehow. Ah, uh, maybe you need another skill or something. Or maybe there's a way to get to the... What is this? Oh, you can break this. There we go. I knew it. I knew there's more to it. Um... Moss. We can go on the moss. Oof! Music's getting a bit scary. Is that a slug? Oh, it's a slug thing. I hate slugs, man. I don't know what it is about slugs, but I maybe slugs are one of the most is, grossest animals of all time. Ooh, I think that's a full life orb right there. Oh, very nice. Life cell fragment. You complete life cell, your maximum life has been increased. I like that a lot. Any secrets here? Don't see anything. Get on them spikes. Ooh, the music's hitting me nicely. Okay, I think that's about it for this area. I think it was all for the life cell fragment. So just keystones for a life cell fragment? Okay, fair enough, sure. Mm, I really want that big juicy purple thing on the bottom there, but uh, we'll ignore it for now because I don't see any obvious way of doing it. Although I think the way you have to do it is go through here, but like, I, I'm pretty sure this water just straight up kills you. So maybe that's a late game thing. Um, yeah, we can get out this way. Uh, quickly become an obsessed with soundtrack. Yeah. That's what happened with Blind Forest number one as well. It'd be like that. I still listen to the soundtrack all the time. TNT with the Twitch Prime for 11 months on a two-month streak. Hello! Okay, I haven't been here yet. Oh! Those are kind of hard to balance on. This wall is breakable. Oh, already got another one. That's awesome. Juicy. I got a feeling. No, we're leaving. Wow, I'm getting distracted by everything in the book. I'm just like, hey, let's go get that juicy thing on the left all the way over there. But then suddenly... Everything's grabbing my attention. Hello. Let's talk to the Moki. Are you a spirit? Then tremble, spirit. You stand before Mock the Brave. It's not very convincing, I know. But I am brave, or I would be, with a trophy. A trophy like a howl skull. Or just a fang, if that's too heavy. I heard the howl of fighting to the east. Maybe a dropped one. A little braver. Find a howl fang near where you... Oh, great. Top five for most pretty games of all time. I think so. I love the art style in this. Okay, you guys said that you wanted the juicy thing. Okay, we're going to get the juicy thing. Because I know if I ask again, if I'm like, Oh, guys, you want to get the juicy thing or do you want to fight the giant wolf? That's gonna kill me. You're gonna be like, yeah, fight the giant wolf that's gonna kill you, Mr. Streamer. Anything that's gonna kill you, we wanna see you fight that. Uh, we're gonna wait on that. You can choose again after we go get the juicy thing on the left. Oh, we can break this. Hello. 
Ooh, reckless. You've gained a new spirit shot. Deal and take more damage. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Increased damage dealt and taken by 15%. Yeah, I'll use it for now, but that's probably not going to stay on. I'm going to be honest with you on that one. It's just a big, large dog. Yeah. With giant crocodile teeth. Okay, running. Oh god, that's water. I can run up this wall, I guess. It's become so um, fluid already. Eh, screw you. Am I going up top or through here? Through here. Oh, wait, we can break this now. Oh, no, we can't. That's a little bit too hard. Like, the animations in this game are literally perfect. I don't think you can make better animations than this. They're all so fluid. They're incredible. Honestly, I feel like one of the best ways to judge how much love has gone into a game are the animations. Like, you can make good graphics easily these days. So easily. You know, if you're just using, like, Unreal Engine or something, like, it's all built in, basically. But, like, good animations to fit with the style of the game takes a lot more effort. Oh, I love the sword. I hope I can just use the sword all game. Although I know you get, I guess spoilers, I guess, but I saw it in the trailer, you get a bow as well. And I love swords and bows, so this game's got me on lockdown, basically. Everything I love. Cute animals, swords, and bows. Congratulations, Ari. Okay, so this is the thing we, we were gonna get before. Golek ore, you found some ore. A clever craftsman could use this to repair structures. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Oh man. Okay, chat, decision time. Do you want to go left here, explore more? Uh, do you want to go fight Howl, or do you want to go see Papa Crowlack? Crowlack? What's his name? Quolock. Mm. Left, Howl, left, left, doggo, left? Okay, we're going down into the Midnight Burrows. We got an exploration chat. Oh, we got some spicy new monsters. A little bit scared of these. That's a bat. Oh, God, he explodes. I need your life orb, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Chad, I think you might have gotten me killed. You got me killed. I blame you, chat. It's all your fault. Is this possible with the skill set that I have? I don't think so. All I can think is double jump and grab onto that vine, but I don't even know if you can grab onto that vine. Science. Nope. Science has failed us. Yeah, that's we're not meant to be here. Let's leave. We're getting ahead of, ahead of ourselves. Okay, so I guess we go fight the dog, because I assume you guys want the dog over the Quolock. Um, yes. I'm also going to go check out what that little cute thing is on my map, because I don't know what it is. After I do something real quick. Which is die to this bat, apparently. Die to everything, apparently. Yeah, I just want to check this area out. See what's going on. Oh, 
Wait, he made around the wall. These bats are nasty, dude. I find it so hard to dodge them, to be honest. 